What is up guys welcome back to the channel so right here we have this g35 in for a full color change and as you guys can see uh, we actually got this car to the body shop and got two dings fixed on this side and then the quarter panel was actually pretty bad on this side so we had to get that fixed and as you guys can see right now I'm sanding down the whole car because the paint is really 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 orange peely um, Kind of hard to tell right here but let me see if i can show you guys like right there you guys should be able to see all that orange peel it's just horrible and when you have your paint like this and then you you know they even painted over like little trash right there and stuff like that um really bad paint job and if you wrap over this essentially you still see the orange peel on the wrap itself through the wrap so then the wrap ends up looking even more orange peely and then the hood is a lot worse. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see like drips or something. Like you can see it right there. It's all over the hood. It's pretty bad. You can see that. You see that that warpage right there. I have no idea where th that is, but you can see how it kind of warps. You see the glare of the sun right there. The hood is so bad that I don't want to wrap it. It seems like the clear coat was peeling and all these guys did was just give it a light sand and then paint right over it. And that's why you have this outline right here on the hood. So instead of having to sand all that down to smooth that out, I have another hood that's in mint condition that I'm just going to swap out for him because I'd rather not go through all the trouble of sanding this just to smooth it out. And it's, you know, it's just, it's just going to be way too time consuming. You guys can see that. Look at that. And if I wrap over that, you're going to see it through the wrap. So that's what we don't want. But we're going to basically sand down the entire car to make sure it's all smoothed out. You can see how it's all textured right here. The texture of the clear coat is really orange peely. So we're going to smooth out the whole car and then we'll you know, continue stripping it as we go about it. And hopefully we get to fix up a few things here and there where it's hanging they oversprayed all the weather strips along the way as well unfortunately so I'm gonna see if I have a few replacements or something here and there to give them brand new ones where they're not oversprayed so let's continue sanding and strip the car apart at the same time as we go about it then we'll give it a wash and start prepping for wrap all right so right here we just started wrapping the car so you guys can see we sanded down everything and then right here's a wrap it's like a dark forest metallic green but we started wrapping the car everything smoothed out but i realized when i started wrapping on this side i already did the roof i already did the hood fender and door on this side um the paint lifts up so this this is how bad the paint is which makes the process a lot slower to wrap because like when I was doing the roof, paint peeled off right here. You guys can see that cracking part. And it made me realize that even if it was wrapped and then I wrapped it, you know, like, let's say I wrapped this and then I wrapped the quarter panel and the excess wrap is touching this. And then I go to lift the wrap for the quarter panel while I'm trimming it or whatever. And it lifts up the wrap on this. It's gonna take the paint with it and then it's not gonna stick anymore and it's gonna ruin the whole eight pillar piece. So there's a process to wrapping something like this when it has horrible paint, like, like how it is right now. So normally, you know, I wrap like this and then I do the quarter panel, eight pillar, and then I'm done with this side. But in order to avoid paint peeling off like that, um, instead of wrapping the quarter panel, I'm gonna wrap the rear bumper so I don't have to worry about the excess wrap from the rear bumper sticking onto the already wrapped quarter panel and lifting the paint and then it ruins the whole piece so i'm gonna wrap the rear bumper and then detach the rear bumper so i don't have to worry about the wrap on that and then wrap the the quarter panel then sand that, that back down again and then wrap the eight pillar so it's like a process and then the, we're getting a new trunk as well owner bought a new trunk where it doesn't have all these holes 
So that's gonna be easier to wrap because the paint's not gonna be messed up how it is right now. To give you guys a quick little like overview of how to wrap a car that has really horrible paint like this, even though it's painted, it's smoothed out, they painted over the already existing paint. As you guys can see there, it's red, which means the paint, the original paint's still on there. So they just painted on top of paint instead of, you know, sanding down the original red paint down to the primer, then painted, painting that process. But, uh, cause when it happens like that, it, the paint starts to flake off as you're wrapping. And then when it comes to doing panels like these with this horrible paint, you kind of have to make sure you lay it down once and you don't lift it back up. Cause the moment you lift it back up, like let's say I laid down this piece, touching the edge right here and I lift it up it might lift the paint from the edge and it ruins the whole piece of wrap because then it like starts to break and flake everywhere and then you see a bunch of little indents going upward on the paint on the on the wrap and it just ruins the whole piece so when it comes to paint like this the process is a little bit slower and you kind of have to just make sure you lay it in right the first time just to avoid any paint lifting up being said let's continue wrapping this thing I'll show you guys at the end the whole car once it's all done up.
All right, guys, so we are finally done with this thing. I'm so sorry, guys, it's super windy today, so you guys might catch a little bit of wind, but we are finally done with this thing. Look at that. Definitely a lot more metallic -y out in the sun. And of course, we had to do a lot more additional sanding as we wrapped every other panel just because the paint kept coming off on this thing. But compared to how it was, after sanding it down with 400 grit, all around, the body ended up looking pretty smooth. You can see clearly the reflection. Look how glossy this wrap is. Super, super shiny. glossy that looks all that metallic in it if I can capture that but you know unfortunately you still see some of the red just because of the, the whoever painted this car did a horrible job on masking all the plastic so that what you see there is the cowl that red strip in there is the plastic part of the a pillars but they just ended up painting that the little gasket on the roof they painted that the quarter windows they painted that the edge on the windows right there they painted that so unfortunately they ended up overspraying a lot of that those parts and i finally put some tire shine guys i finally got some tire shine so when i finish a car i can actually put some tire shine on the wheels make it look decent so nismo bumper came out super nice we ended up wrapping those little glossy um glossy black on those little vents right there and we ended up putting the mesh on that as well we ended up putting some carbon fiber mirrors on this thing just because I didn't want to wrap the mirrors and it looks a lot nicer. It actually goes the carbon fiber with this green. There we have it. Definitely was not a easy car to wrap. I can tell you guys that the moment you lay down a piece with paint like this, it right away wants to uh, lift up the paint. So you have to be super, super careful and take the process really slow. But yeah, so my little cheat code for that was using spray wo spray wax to kind of like not get the wrap to stick to the panel. And then once you heat it up, and actually pressure it down onto the panel, then it would stick. I've done this many times with a lot of cars and it's always worked pretty, pretty well. Other than that, car came out pretty damn good. And again, <laughs> super glossy, extremely glossy. You can see a lot of the reflection. On that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this video is somewhat informative to anyone that wants to wrap their car with horrible horrible paint hopefully you guys don't get it as bad as this one did but um, you know again 400 grit sand and make sure it's all smoothed out and your wrap will come out looking pretty damn good but again guys thank you guys for always supporting the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one